Welcome all to the In My Opinion Show with Ronald Bay Robinson and Friends. Please see us on the YouTube. Type in the In My Opinion Show and you will be able to uh, connect with all of our programs. We have uh, uh, in the neighborhood of almost 200 shows up so far uh, via YouTube. I want to welcome our millions of guests worldwide and especially my very talented co-host, Miss Jackie Williams. Thank you. Uh, and Mr. Henry Hatter. Thank you, Ron. And today I want to look like my favorite governor, Rick Snyder, without my tie. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think perhaps, Mr. Hatter, you might have chosen a different uh, uh, person because uh, he's on his way out of office. All right. And uh, the fact he's being gonna kick, he's going to get kicked out of office. All right, for his uh, malfeasance and anything else you can bring up, uh, especially as it results as a result of this poisoning of uh, thousands, tens of thousands of people in Flint, Michigan, and surrounding areas, as well as those ones that have already left uh, Flint, uh, college students, uh, different employees, employers, okay, that have exited uh, this, but. Let's get to the Voting Rights Act of uh, 1965. <clears throat> the act was designed to prevent voter discrimination of all kinds and ensure that every American has equal access to the ballot box. Without it, we're already, we've already seen reports of un unconstitutional uh, voter purges, restrictive early voting, and the uh, intentional spread of false information by major political parties. When the Supreme Court stripped Section 4 of the Voting Rights Act, it has become a national disgrace. All right, even uh, Julian Bond, the, uh, <coughs> the, uh, the noted uh, lawyer, politician, and, um, and uh, uh, Southern Poverty Law Center president before his passing. The Voting Rights Act of 1965 by a five to four vote, the Supreme Court freed nine states under Section 4, mostly in the South, to change their election laws without advanced federal approval because those nine states had to get federal approval before they did anything as far as voting, uh, voting uh, uh, changes were, uh, were needed, as they claim. As a result, almost daily, we are witnessing discrimination in many more than nine states. Section 4, without it, preclearance by the federal government is powerless. States are allowed to do as they please. Let's restore Section 4 to stop the lies, the purging, the false information, and the gerrymandering, and all the rest of that foolishness that, that the states uh, have um, insisted that we're falsely that were happening in their you know in their in their states Jackie what's your thoughts um I, I'm just very disappointed in our Supreme Court um, because they even struck it down because if they had really looked at the literature they would have seen there was many cases that use as an example that this law was still relevant when they struck it down so I don't know what analysis and what information they used to show that it wasn't relevant but I would show you right now in um, North Carolina they're suffering big time because what they did was they went through and they took um, they just mailed just some casual mail to over 400,000 residents and if the mail came back they took it to the clerk to have them purged and it was a lady that stood out she was a hundred years old she had not moved in like 50 years and they purged her name and she fought for it but some people didn't fight for it so they were able to purge it and they even have another list that's going forward on monday to be purged but the law says that 90 days prior to an election there should be no purging or moving of the role so it's in violation so they have lawsuits filed so they did do uh, the um, judge did rule against them and tell them to restore it but in order to restore it back in a couple of days I don't know if they'll be able to meet that deadline you know and also I think a lot of these states you know regardless of where they're located the north or the south 
you know, uh, and, if, and, 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 and when it deals with uh, uh, African Americans, okay, the 13th Amendment of the Constitution abolished slavery and was ratified in, on December 6, 1865. My question is, why hasn't the federal government used their powers and stepped up, okay, uh, federal power supersedes state, uh, state, uh, state, uh, state power? What, I'm, what I don't understand, why the federal government has, has not stepped up the Justice Department and stop this foolishness, okay? If it's a law, you know what I mean, uh, or amendment, regardless, then it it it, it, it should not it, it shouldn't be happening, you know. And uh, uh, over 150, 60 years later, all right, after it was ratified, Mr. Hatter, what is your thought? Well, uh, <clears throat> um, this is a, certainly a complex uh, discussion for me. First of all. In all my years of voting, I have never been suspicious of the voting system. Never. I've never had any experiences. I've always had to, my wife and I have always had to show our IDs. It was a thing. They do that today. I have no, absolutely no objection. I feel that in my community there's no um, monkey business going on with the voting. There may be, and I may not know, I don't see it, and maybe you guys see it, and uh, you need to convince me that it's going on. But otherwise, I would be just whistling Dixie. And a lot of this that's dealing with gerrymandering and stuff like that, that is not the function of the federal government. That's the function of a, of a political party that's in power. If they want to gerrymander uh, jurisdictions, they can do so. The, both the Republicans and Democrats do that. But I don't see how that's got anything to do with voting. But it has everything to do with voting because if you gerrymander a, 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 a certain area and stuff, you cut out a segment of society, all right? But you To, to uh, benefit, all right, the people that are doing the gerrymandering, whether they're, uh, in, uh, whether they're, they're uh, in Congress or uh, a federal government or state government. So when you when you cut out a segment, all right, of of, of that of that um, of that state or that particular um, group. group, then that in itself is unlawful. Well, Ron, I don't I don't really think that <clears throat> gerrymandering uh, is done in this circumstance. I know it's done in a lot of cases based upon race to carve out people by in segments and put them in concentrated areas. But uh, in this case, I don't see the benefits of gerrymandering a uh, community uh, uh, to uh, affect the voting rights. Uh, but, but think about what you're saying. Think about what you're saying because what they said was they did a special on MSNBC yeah. and what they said was they don't just pick a place they pick high concentrated areas where the vote is whether they need to persuade the democrats or the republicans whichever way Which and funny. that's the one is hit yeah. so they went and they purposely sought out the areas that had high who is they um i don't know the republican governor okay because the, the governor, governor it has to be the legislature and it starts in political parties, local political party. In each district, like I am, for example, the Trump chairman of the 5th Congressional District, which I have no authority to act in the case that we're talking about right now. But those particular jurisdictions have their own, established their own uh, gerrymandered uh, structures that must be approved by the state. But we have to look at their ideology. You know what I mean for, for, for you know for doing this this uh, gerrymandering, okay? Let's take for instance this. Here in the state of Michigan, all right, they ship thousands of prisoners up north, all right, where the population is where the population is is, is small, and they count those prisoners as as uh, as residents, okay. They get also get more uh, federal dollars, mm -hmm. all right, based upon population, mm -hmm. all right. Therefore, uh, uh, they can just about put anybody in office that that the uh, uh, and 
that's in power, all right, they can put them in office, all right, because uh, or 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 you mean or the prisoners can put them in office, population wise. Oh, okay, okay, but, right. but there's a positive federal, you know, especially federal uh, 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 office holders. Okay, let's look at this from another point: the gerrymandering uh, business. If uh, a, if they they move a segment of the population out of high density areas into low density areas, it is it is diminishing the exposure of danger to a high populated area. Stop and think about it. You were on the prison board or worked in it, and you know how that works. No, it doesn't. This impact. Is it, no, that's I don't I don't agree with that at all. It doesn't. But it impact. does. It doesn't. Impact. And they don't want them around schools, and they don't it, want them around hospitals, that's, that's, stuff like that. Gerry, gerrymandering is a powerful tool to do some things that are good. Uh, they, 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 they stick prisoners in 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 places nowhere up there. You, there there's hardly any. They isolate from pockets. people. It, that's not. No, that's not. That's not. That's not the. That's not the case. All right. They but put that's the, they put one of the intent. The, no, it's not. The, the intent is to get more money. Yeah, that All too. Right? That's the biggest in, intent. It's not to hide them or or, or take them out of uh, from people. All right. And that's got nothing. That's got nothing to do with it. If if in your area right now, if if the state decided, well, I'm going to put a prison right down the middle of Ron's district. What do you think the response from your... Uh, Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, because they got two. <laughs> okay. They got two. <laughs> what you do you think would happen if they decided they got, to do that in Clio? They got... Or Flushing. Nothing. Or Rich or Grandson. They're going to holler, you know, certainly yeah. they're going to okay. holler, yeah, but that's as far as yeah. it's going to go. They're going to holler. Okay. They're going to okay. holler. And that's it. We got, we got in, my, in my neighborhood, uh, or, they've got... Uh, 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 they're, they're housing uh, thousands of, of uh, convicted women, thousands of convicted men. All Do you right? think that's a justifiable uh, claim against uh, people who don't want prisons in the area? Do you think it's justifiable or not? There's always going to be somebody that that doesn't like something, you know what I mean, regardless mm -hmm. of what it what of what of what it. But then be. it serves a good. Right. It serves a good. For but the you community. brought up a good point. I, I didn't look at it that way. You brought up a good point where you said that people that are in office, it's probably easily to be elected because you really don't have a big population that's able to vote. Yeah. You just have that few that's there. So they probably have long term in office because sure. who's going to go against them and who's going to move up there to be? <laughs> and then, you know, this this scare tactic. All right. All right. And a lot of that, I think, is misguided. We've taken, you know, when, when they come in there for all pr practical purposes, you've taken the guns and the knives and all that kind of stuff. Not to say that they can't get a hold of something to, uh, to harm you, okay? But anyway, we're getting, well, off, we're, we're getting off the point here. I, I, I'm going to go back to the point. Now, the Voting Act, Rights Act of 1965 was a great move uh, for African Americans. We had never seen that before. That was progress. And whatever they did to, uh, to crush, crush his intent one way or the other, we were still winners in this country because democracy finally came to black people. Yeah, but and now it's no, that five to four decision, it's being eroded. Oh, no, it's All not right. being eroded. Sure it Progress, uh, um, government moves slowly. And people don't move fast. People don't accept things fast. It, they accept things only slowly. We have made tremendous progress in this country. And we need to recognize that. We but how do you move a mountain? Progress. How do you move a mountain? You chip at it. So this yeah. is, I understand what he's saying. Yeah. What he's telling you is that they're chipping at it. So if I throw a roadblock over here, a roadblock mm -hmm. over here, a roadblock over there, eventually I'm going to block the whole mountain. And well, you're not going to be able to get to it. Mm -hmm. So regardless to the progress we did make by these little ploys of different people and tactics, they're not going to be able Good to. Point. Good point. Mm -hmm. But think about all of the people that we have convinced to join us, the rest of the population. The rest of the population is not going to let this backslide because once things are put into law, they generally stay there. And I think that we will get this resolved, whatever the problem is, and I don't know, uh, but if there's something that discourages blacks from going to the poll uh, through uh, manipulation, I think that that will also be corrected. Well, I hope so. I hope that, like I said, I hope that they restore 
Section 4. That took all the guts out of the, uh, out of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Do you realize prior to uh, uh, 1965, in some cases, women couldn't vote, all right? African Americans could not vote. Other white, poor women could not vote. Okay. The white man has always had the advantage. Now right. I'll try to run that. Uh, well, this shit is coming to an yeah, end. Yeah, but, oh, but Mr. Uh, yeah, but trying to bring them, sweep them into our discussion. Let's it's keep it be, like it is. It's got to be. Tell because them, like, it tell, was, tell, tell the history. It was unfair to black Americans. You got, period. You got to tell the historical. The women had the right to vote. They got it in 1921. You got to. You got to tell the, the historical truth here. All right. I'm telling you the historical go truth, guys. You got to go back. Uh, into history. Only Trump can make this Not, right. Yeah, well, Trump is an idiot. <laughs> okay? Trump is an idiot, in my opinion. Okay? okay? And I certainly hope he does not win. We're not speaking nothing. that. We're not speaking that at all. all We're right. going to let him take his toys and go home. Exactly. Him and his Entourage. family. Yes. All right? So, uh, anyway, I'm not spending any more time on, on, <laughs> on Trump. Okay? I'm I'm All right, I'm voting for Hillary Clinton. She, I'm with have, her. Does she have issues? Of course. Of course. Who doesn't? <laughs> All right. Who doesn't? And 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 I think we're spending too much time on it on that child molester uh, and liar. But anyway, uh, what about? Um, how do we get that changed? The the you know back to uh, and, and 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 include section four. All right. What what is it going to take? It's going to take the people of the United States to do that. It's going to take the people of North Carolina and all those other places. Not segments. Not special interests. Forget it. It's not going to change that way. Right. You got to convince the people. And the people don't always look like we do. They look like others. Right. And those are the people that we have to uh, set up these conversations with. To get that and that's why this election is so important, <clears throat> because this president will nominate, what is it, three, possibly, possibly. three, mm -hmm. three Supreme Court justices. So that means that we have to make sure that whoever is the president, we have to make sure that they understand the issues, the real issues, mm -hmm. not just up until the election day, but after the election day, so that we're able to move forward on taking care of these issues because this need to be handled. Yes. Good point. And let's make this a law, not just an act. Uh, uh, I think it, it should be a law so that we won't have this discussion, you know what I mean, uh, 10, 15, 20 years from now. We're not going to have right. it. Uh, by the end, when 2050 comes, there's a tremendous balance, shift, where people of color will be the arithmetic and political majority of the political system. But it's going to change eventually anyway. We will have a transformation or a climax in which all of these things will fall away and something new will rise. Well, let's hope so, Mr. Henry. Let's Thank hope you. So. And, uh, again, let's go on to a good I'm, discussion. I'm, uh, I'm voting for uh, Trump. Uh, Hillary Clinton, <laughs> the President of the United States of America. Okay, uh, she's the best choice. With that, let's change uh, let's change gears. Uh, let's talk about what do you think about uh, <clears throat> recently come to uh, to uh, the, the nation's attention about the uh, preventing voters from taking pictures of their ballots. That's become a mainstream uh, a question. Who cares if you go in the voting, voting booth and you do a selfie? I think the reason why is because they found actual cases where people were voting for Hillary, but when it was tabulated, it went for Trump. So it flipped. So that's why people were taking pictures of their ballot to make sure that it was accurate. So if they go back and they check, they can see, because if they can show that there's enough cases, they'll have to test it to see and make sure that they're accurate votes. 
um because they have to do a poll if i'm not mistaken is that right henry they have to do a poll if it's yes. like a lot of problems or whatever so that's why they started taking pictures yeah. now i didn't know of any rule or law that says you can't take a picture because you know the pictures are new because this is new because of our you know technology i didn't realize that you can't take a picture because okay. what where does it say you can't take a picture okay also too if you in the voting booth all right and you take a selfie all right so what it's not been it's not went through the machine because if it goes through the machine it's over with you can't take you can't go in there and pull your your ballot out and take a picture right right so i think there's a, a whole lot to, to do about nothing but I think it's because they know that these can turn into cases. Because if you get enough people who've taken pictures with their ballot, and then when they go and check the record, if their record is not accurate or what the picture shows, they have a reason to go and test that whole site. That's why people are doing it. And that's why they're making it outlaw, because they don't want them to have a valid point, because in case something comes up. Well, the Sixth, the sixth Circuit Court of Appeals overturned the federal judge order preventing voters from taking pictures of their ballots. So according to the Sixth Circuit of, of, of Court of Appeals, that's null and void. Yeah, you we've never had we've never had a law that it says that you can't talk while you're in the booth. Right. I do know that you're not supposed to be talking because they think you might be influencing mm -hmm. other people. But I, I don't like I said, it's too new. The uh, cameras are too new. All of this is new. We don't have anything to address that. Exactly. Am exactly. I right, Henry? What do you yeah. think of your thoughts? Well, you know, I'm going to go along with Jackie. She looks like she has been studying the homework. Uh, <clears throat> and I have a challenge here. I, normally, she's a challenge for me, but here I think that she's done a homework. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't think that you should really be able to take pictures of the ballot. It's just another thing for people to gripe about voter intimidation, voter fraud, uh, using electronic gear to do all kind of things. And there are people who can do that. They can transform the American voting process into something that's, uh, uh, that would characterize our voting system as, as, uh, as unproductive and as fraud tampered possibility. But why would they why would they just grab that out of the hat? Because it has happened. Well do you remember this is the, what they want to do. They the, want to clean up the, the chat. Remember that, it was pregnant yeah, chat, yeah. it was punch well, chat. Well, remember all that? Yeah, I, I I've worked on those But we still haven't gotten that straightened out because well, they're working on it. The, you know, we live in a very complex world electronically and and things do uh, happen. I mean they call it something else four letter words, but it does happen. And they're working on that. You guys have to give them it's been eight an opportunity years. to work that out. No, it's been 16 but, years. But this mm -hmm. voter fraud, voter intimidation and stuff is tearing up the confidence that we have in the American political system. Well, what do you think it's doing to the people that it affects? So my point but is, it's been point. wait, it's been 16 years because that was mm -hmm. the um, that was the Bush well, versus Gore. So this is the um, part where they still have problems in Florida. What did they have during the primary? Problems in Florida. Do you this think is 16. That those problems exist? Have you ever had any incident with the problem? The pregnant no, chat? No, I don't even live there, and I know about the pregnant chat, yeah, the have punch chat. Yeah, but you had an incident where this has happened? Do you know of any incidents? In Michigan? Yes. I don't have an incident, because Michigan is not... We can't talk about it. Yes, sure I can talk about it. Sure we can. Because no they, proof, no sure evidence. We do. We do. Sure so we I have to touch it to be able to uh, connect by, with it? Uh, I got to touch it yeah. to connect with it? No, but you want to improve the American political system so it becomes better. You must drive it. But what is the first what is the first step to understanding there's a problem to admit that there is a problem? So if we don't admit that we there's did, a problem, we, did, we can't we, fix we it. We have admitted that there were chads and the, they have worked out. They have worked that. You over just and had over problems over in the primary. years. But you just had problems in the primary again. Uh, where? In Florida. Coming from what? What source? What? What was the source of the problem? They had. They just found, um, it was a lady that was just in... Um, One person, okay, go uh, ahead. Uh, 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 wait. This is a she statistical took, weighted average. I don't care what you say. You it, it's a proof. This is, it's proof. This is she fraud. took, they found 
they found ballots in the closet. Mm -hmm. yes. She put them in the closet. Okay. If she wasn't, um, if they didn't find out what she done, what would have happened to all those votes? This is still happening in 2000, 2016. So you can't just write it off as no, though we no, fixed it, it. You must not write it off. But we but need to know, deal with it. But you must not proclaim something that's not that does not exist. It exists. You must not proclaim that there's fraud when you have no evidence. So Our how much more evidence do I need? Open up the closet and let them fall on the floor? How much more evidence well, I, do I need? No, I'm, I say that that was a mistake, okay? But you, you mistakenly took the, instead of putting them in the machine, you mistakenly put them in the closet. I don't know where the motive was. I'm right, sorry. you weren't even, I mean, you don't even know the case, but you're defending it. You're just like, you're just like Trump. Yeah. You don't really know the information, I'm but like you the American people who, <laughs> who believe in the American <laughs> system of government. Make because America great people again. people like me, it would disappear. Make America great again. Yeah, well, whatever. Close your eyes but, to what's happening. But you guys know that. And, and we should, uh, black people, uh, all people, should believe in the Constitution because You're that's right, the only thing You're right, because they didn't we, enslave us. They didn't do anything to us to make us angry. You're you, right. You, you, you we should be the happiest people that were brought here on a boat. You're right. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't smiling. I'm sorry. <laughs> you worked for 500 I'm years sorry. for free. Okay, the we're, smoking, real, we're real I'm happy. I'm sorry. The smoking gun we're did not happy. let me have my say. And our women, and our women brutalized and raped. Oh. All right, throughout, you know, throughout, throughout to, history. Uh, no, they were so property. Bad, he oh, remember yeah, his you, name. Right. Rape somebody that's property. Jeez. You know what I mean? What did you say? Rape somebody that's property. Yeah. That's what you. Were. That's what they did. That's what they did. Not just here in America. Oh, I'm get sorry. Right. I wasn't appreciative right. of that. Get it right. Okay. No, I'm. Uh, I'm sorry. I just need to say this about we, the people, the black people as well. We need to clean up our voting system so that this, so that the democracy will survive. We can't continue to survive this way. Well, how people do you are stop losing confidence in the system. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We would probably be maybe. The democracy has come to its end its limitation. It can't function with so many people making decisions and that are, you know, that are skeptical and curious. Well, maybe that's, maybe that's the intent, all right? Put a whole bunch of foolishness up there, By whom? Right? It has to be driven by, the by powers some. that be. That okay, would be the people. News media, politicians, all right, uh, 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 talk, show, talk show hosts. Me not included. All right, I don't put up barriers, you know, to 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 uh, to issues. I want to talk about them and get them out there. All right, you, get them out there and let people decide, make up their own decisions. You know. So what you mean? guys have made a great statement, and I appreciate what you did. Well, that but it was though, not convincing enough to convince me that there's something wrong. <laughs> With that, uh, we must bring this segment, uh, this show, to a close. Uh, I want to thank our millions of viewers worldwide and my very talented uh, uh, co-hosts and our very talented uh, technical staff. This is Ronald Barry Robinson and friends saying until next time, stay focused.